What's going on? My name is TJ Erickson and I am officially calling it. I'm making the switch from the open water season to the ice fishing season and I'm starting with my live scope. I'm transitioning it to my Arc Lab shuttle. I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to use that but I wanted to pause quick and talk to you a little bit about a product that I'm very excited about moving forward into the ice season and even into um, the open water season after that and that is a new transducer mount for the live scope plus the LVS 34 and it's by Arc Lab. It is called the GT TM 3400. And I'll kind of share with you why I'm looking forward to using it and some of the improvements that I think that they have made over some of the previous mounts that I've used. So I'm going to move over to the workbench here to get a little better lighting and we're going to talk you through some of the main things that I'm looking forward to. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that it's an inline set, a zero degree offset. So that is an inline design working straight inside your pole. As you can see with kind of the original live scope transducer that comes with the Garmin, um, it's got a little bit of an offset and a lot of the other mounts that you see do have that offset as well. So having that zero degree in line mount is very, very nice. It really improves the accuracy at which you're gonna be able to find and see fish. You know, it might seem minor, but when you're getting out 10, 20, even 100 feet, that's going to really just widen that gap of how much discrepancy there is from what you're seeing on your pole to what you're seeing on your screen with that little bit of offset. So having that zero degree offset right in line is very, very beneficial. And it's also going to make that footprint of it a little bit smaller. So it's going to fit inside of an eight inch hole a little bit better. You can see if that was offset one way or another, that's going to make it a little bit harder to fit into that smaller hole. Another thing that I'm really looking forward to is being able to change the orientation very quickly, both from forward to down but also to perspective mode. I know that's what a lot of mounts have been struggling to figure out how to do that efficiently yet quickly, um, but still being able to do that accurately. And I think Arc Lab really knocked it out of the park here on this one. Um, as you can see, moving it from down to forward, just a couple easy clicks, no tools needed. You can really easily move that no matter which direction you're looking for. So it can transition from forward to down very easily, but also you can see on here, it can transition from your standard to your perspective and they even have them labeled right there. And all you need to do for that is turn it. So I'm gonna turn it over on its side and all you need to do is simply turn and it's set to just the perfect amount of friction so that way it's going to be sturdy enough but also be easy enough to move without any tools. And one thing you might notice, and this is what a lot of companies have struggled with, is now you can see the pole is not facing the same way as the handle and they really figured out an easy solution for that. All you need to do is pop that clip out right there, pull it out, turn it from the S on standard to the P for perspective, get it lined up, pop that pin right back in, clip it in, and now you can see you have it set up facing the same direction. My live scope pole is facing this way and my transducer is facing the same way in the perspective mode. So very easy to go from not only forward to down, but it's also really easy to transition it to perspective mode just like this. And when I'm ready to switch it back, just pull that mount out again, pull that clip out, turn it onto its side so the holes line up. Once I get the holes lined up, pop that pin back in, clip it in and you are ready to go. Simply move that back down, transition it straight up and down. You can see they have little notches there to get them lined up perfectly. And then from there, you can move it just like that for your forward and your down. So very easy to move, very easy to change from one orientation to another, which I know been one of the big struggles and some of the different mounts that I've used, that's what I've been frustrated with is when I move it to perspective mount, my handle isn't quite right. So it's a very easy fix without needing any tools to be able to transition from one orientation to another. Some of the other things that are very nice about this pole is everything is marine grade aluminum, so it's very light very sturdy. Um, all the hardware is stainless steel, so it's gonna withstand the hard weather conditions that we deal with when we're ice fishing, but also for open water as well. All in all, you can see it's very compact, fits into a nice package with it being in that inline mount, that zero degree offset is very handy for fitting into boxes or fitting into smaller spaces, or again, fitting into that eight inch hole because we know this transducer is a little bit bigger than the previous transducer. So being able to make anything even a little bit more compact is very helpful. And the last feature that I really like is how easy it is to remove the transducer. Say for me, when I'm gonna be moving around, I'm gonna try to keep my transducer inside as much as possible. And so if I need to take my transducer off for any reason, Reason, I just unclip it right there, pull the mount. You can take the wire clips off 
and then you just simply slide it out. When you pull it out, you have a nice compact piece just like that, um, being able to take it on and off very quickly. And then when I'm ready to fish again, I can line it up there, clip it right into place, and then I'm ready to go. So there you have it, an awesome transducer mount, one that I'm really looking forward to use this winter. And I will link all of Arc Lab's socials, um, their website, all of their information down below. Go ahead, get a hold of Ian over there. He does an awesome job. Make sure that you're set up for the winter or for the summer or for whatever you're looking for. He will get you set up with whatever you're looking for. I'll also put the link for this specific mount. So that way, if you're looking for that one specifically, that will be in the description below. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.